What's up guys, this is I like chess one and today I'll be showing you guys how to make a timer in Visual Basic 2010. Um, this will all work in 6, 8 and 2010 of course. So let's just go ahead and open up uh, Visual Basic and go to file, new project. We'll pick Windows form application and we're going to change our name to stop watch. Timer with no spaces because we're awesome like that. Go ahead and press OK, and and we're here, so we can begin to code. So go ahead and click on your form, and if we scroll down, we'll see something like text. We'll change that to whatever I, we want our title to be. So stopwatch, and there there goes the title. Now let's go up and go to form style border to style. There we go. Um, click on the drop like drop down and click fix single okay now let's make this a bit bigger like like so and now let's go to label which would be in our toolbox and just drag it on to there like that click on it go to change the text to 0, 0.0 0, 0 0.0 and go up and go to font we want to make this really big so We'll make it 90 or something. So 90. Okay, awesome like that. Now let's go to button. And so we'll just put a button over here. And we'll make this a bit bigger. And we'll just go ahead and make three of these. So just press copy. And then just paste them. And then just line them up. Yep, and line this up. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and go to components and go to timer and we'll just put the timer anywhere we want and the timer is down here it's over here okay and then we'll click on the timer and here it says interval we'll change that to one okay now go ahead and click on button change the button text to button whatever uh, start and do this for all the other buttons so if you just see start the text is start stop is stop and reset is reset okay so now we're gonna go ahead and code so double click on start and make this type in timer one dot enabled equals true press enter Go back to design, double click stop, and time type in the same thing, timer one dot enabled equals false though this time. Equals false. And then we're just gonna go to reset. And here we're gonna type in the same thing we did for the stop button, but we're gonna add one more thing, which would be oh what timer one dot enabled. And here we're going to type in label one dot text equals to 0, 0.0. And then go to design, go back to design. And we're going to double click on the timer this time. So double click on the timer. And here we're just going to type in label one dot, so pardon me. Yes, label one dot text equals label one dot text plus 0 0.01 and let me just check anything for errors check your own code and we should be fine so let's just go ahead and hit F5 or this button over here and we'll see our thing running so here it is let's just go ahead and hit start and would you look at that it's working awesomely and if we hit stop it stops if we hit start again then it starts from its uh, stopped place and if we hit reset it resets it to zero so that's pretty awesome so thanks for watching guys if you didn't understand something or you had some error uh, comment below and thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later